Alright guys, how we doing? We eat today, well, I reckon we're going to be out here in the shop messing with, uh, let me get y'all straight. Um, I'm going to build a hot tank. These old engine blocks and cylinder heads and all that crap I mess with all the time. Uh, machine shops are backed up and they, they charge a, a little much, I feel like, the hot tank a motor. Nobody wants the hot tank one anyway. They want to pressure wash it. Hell, I can do that. Or steam gin it. And then the, the water jackets and all still full of rust and crud. So, I got some old inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter angle, eighth inch. Some I had around the shop here and I picked up a 55 gallon drum yesterday. And we've got a old fish cooker, turkey cooker, whatever you call that gas burner thing. Um, I'm gonna make the, I'm, right now I'm thinking I'm gonna make the little stand for it about 15 inches tall where the barrel will sit right in it tight, the cooker will slide right up under it. <coughs> and uh, cut the top out, of course, and make me some kind of little Maybe some four by four blocks of wood. I got some oak four by fours. Maybe a couple of them in the bottom so the block's not sitting right on the bottom. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to purge it with air while it's cooking. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I saw it on Google, so it's gotta be true. That PEX pipe, uh, half inch PEX, is good for like 300 PSI and no, 800 PSI and around 300 degrees in temperature. Well, I'm not going to hit neither one of them. I was going to be more around a 200 number on the temperature and whatever temperature, air pressure it takes to make bubbles come up. I'll make a, a better boiling effect and push the water through all the little oil and galleys and everything. We'll, we'll figure that out. I might have to use some black iron or copper or something. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get started on this thing, and uh, I think I'm going to put simple uh, purple power in it. I got a two and a half gallon or a gallon and a half, I don't know, a couple gallons of purple power. And we'll try that. We may have to add something else to it or do something different. But anyway, uh, we're going to give it a whirl. Let me get some metal cut up, and I'll get back with you guys. two inch angle I'm gonna fix for the legs so they'll tie all this I don't know if see one y'all can tie it that gap I gotta be tied in with the legs and all this it'll be plenty strong so I think it will anyway but anyway let me uh, I'll get that welded out and uh, on top and bottom side and get some leg cut and we'll see if we can't figure it out I'll be right back all right guys we got the stand put together and uh, welded out. It ain't pretty, but it ought to be solid enough to hold it anyway. 
I feel like it will. I went ahead and put a couple pieces of angle there in the center just to help, just to help support it a little bit. Anyway, that's what we got. The barrel will sit right inside of it on top. And um, I think it's 24 by 24, I think is what I made it. Something like that. Then I'll just put some little two inch angle, I had scrap, little feet on it. Cause it's gonna sit outside under, or under shelter on the rocks. So figured them little feet might help keep it from sinking down anyway. But anyhow, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, make sure this cap here is tight, good and tight. The little one here, I think I'm gonna put a ball valve in it, come out with a, a nipple or something, a 90, put a ball valve and have this on the bottom. So I'll be able to drain it anyway, you know, instead of having to try to turn it over and dump it out. Uh, maybe easier to do it that way. But after that, all that daggone ice we got last night, hell, everything's closed around here. It's Saturday. <coughs> we got a shoot there in Eastern North Carolina. We got right at right at an inch, just maybe a little less an inch of solid ice. So everything's covered nice. And ain't supposed to get much above freezing today, so we ain't gonna lose much of it. But anyway, we got plenty to piddle on. We'll keep piddling on this thing, see if we can't get her going. And I'll get back with you boys. I'll get this valving done in the barrel, flipped over and cut out. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. We've been back at this thing again. It's back on hot tank. And what I've done may work, may not work. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If not, we'll do something different. But anyway, I had, I don't know, 12, 14 foot of 3 8 copper tubing and uh, made a circle around and tied back to there. Just crimped off and tied down with haywire. That's all it is. It runs up. Let me get you off of here. It'll run to there, turns up. Turn it over to our hose will hook to it. That'll run up the side of the barrel and that'll set out at the top. Okay. Now in my mind, just the way I'm thinking about things, I took these um, copper tubing about every inch and a half. I drill them about an eighth inch hole, sixteenth hole, back and forth. And all the way around and back up through the middle cramped the end of it flat, it's just tied on with some haywire. And now we got the air compressor just I just turned the air compressor on. It's pumped up. So let me uh let me get y'all on the tripod and we'll see what this thing does together. Ah, wrong way. Alright, let's see what happens here. It's just sitting on this lid where I cut the top of the barrel off. It's not. Man, get y'all straight. It, um. There we go. This will sit basically in the bottom of the barrel. And these are just some salt treated for before post. I have it on me. I got some oak. And I think what I'm going to do is mount this tubing up an inch or so. I'll keep it off the bottom inch, inch and a half, whatever. And then there'll be two blocks sitting in there like that, sort of. Tubing will be mounted to it somehow, some way. 
and then the engine, will, the block will sit right here on this. And y'all cut them down so they'll be a little further, a little further apart, something like that. Whatever it takes. And then the time you put the heat to it and the water, and the chemicals. That air ought to help make, should make a big difference. I'm thinking. Now I may be wrong. I have been wrong once or twice before. But, but anyway, we'll see what how this works. Um, you know what can do. I hadn't even put it in the barrel. Um, we can put it in the barrel and see just what's what. See if my figuring did work out. Uh, I'm breaking 20 pair of them things and ain't never enough. See a little better. Okay. That's kind of what it's going to be. Then the four before blocks will be sitting there. And, or some, I may be a little, I got some scrap angle over there. I may be a little, little angle iron table that's two or three inches tall and be able to mount the tubing right to that. But that's how it comes out the top. And I'll have it over there under the lean to shelter. And I got air air chucks and all right there, just a little short hose, hook to that, set the valve, let you what the pressure you want. And when she gets up to temperature, open the valve up and just let her bubble. I'm thinking, and I may be wrong about this, but I'm thinking like up in the bottom of the cam holes and all, it, all the oil and galleys and stuff, if we more we can make that chemical move around the better it would be, you know, and then washing out the water jackets and all that. But anyway, it's been it's late Saturday afternoon now. I've, I had just been some rigging going on because nobody's open today after that little ice storm we had last night. So I couldn't get no, you know, I wanted to I wanted to put a T, a T in the line down there so they would all it all be tied together, just because. And then put a little ball valve right up here, which is no big deal. I mean, I can get one Monday or something, it's no biggie. But anyway, just aggravating, you know, when you try to get a project done and can't because of one thing or another. <coughs> but there's the table for it right there. And then the burner will slide right under there and we'll be cooking with gas. I'm going to set it out there under the lean to where I got that overhead winch. So I won't, you know, just electric winch up there on the roof, on the ceiling. Winch to block in, block it out. And then I want to put a ball valve at the bottom in that drain hole so I could drain the chemicals. Like I said, nobody's open, so I couldn't get one. So it is what it is. But anyway, we're going to call it a day. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get a lid figured out. How I'm gonna make the take the I'm thinking I'm gonna take the old lid I cut off and if I got some hinges around here I'm gonna build me a hingeable lid you know where it would fold up and put a handle on it or something, whatever. Just try to help keep the heat in it while you're using it. So anyway, we'll uh I'm gonna see if I can't get this one up this evening. And you guys got any ideas, thoughts, what I might need to change or do different? Let me know, cause I'm gonna quit on it this afternoon and uh, get back on it tomorrow, maybe or Monday. I don't know. We'll do something. All right, guys. We'll see y'all later. All right, guys. I'm still out here on this thing. I had, a, I was going in the house and letting the wood heater burn down. So I got to, I got to thinking. Well, I built this whole thing out of scrap. I got 20 bucks in it so far in that for the barrel. 
but all, everything was out of scrap and mess I had, so I figured, let me see what I can come up with. So I had enough one by one angle to build this little table and some two inch legs, two by two out of angle with some two inch legs. Well, a little piece of flat bar out there to hold the tubing, same on that side. And uh, what that'll do now, this will set right down in the bottom of the barrel and uh, hold my my tubing and all will be off the bottom a little bit, you know, junk and trash, all that mess sediment. But anyway, I just figured it'd be better than it. It did what it is. That would put the motor. I was gonna go with a four before and do it, and I'm gonna, you know, this will be fine right here. I think if not, I can raise it up if I need to. But anyway, I mean that's what it. Eighth inch, three inch tubing. I think is what it is. And I drilled about an inch and a half, two inches apart, one eighth inch holes. So it ought to get plenty of air through there and get this stuff to moving. But as far as I know, man, I am done with this thing other than until the hardware store opens, I can get a ball valve, but we're going to, uh, we're going to figure out something with the lid tomorrow, and we're going to fill this thing up with some purple power and water and see what happens, put some fire under it. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.